Hey guys, I'm Troy Araujo and in this video of mine I'm going to show you all how to make a motion detector on a breadboard. So now let's check the components needed. So these are the important things which you require. A PIR motion sensor, a 470 ohm resistor, a LED, 6 to 9 volt battery, a breadboard of course and a couple of wires. Make sure you do not use more than 9 volts because that may burn out the passive infrared sensor. So now I have already connected the circuit. I have to only connect the battery. Before that I will show you the components. So this is a buzzer. This is the PIR motion sensor. Look at it carefully. I got this on Amazon. You can check it out there too. Then this is the LED. The 470 ohm resistor. So now let me connect the battery and show you how the circuit works. Before that I would like to show you how the passive infrared sensor works. So it's basically the PR sensor is a sensor which detects movement through picking up infrared waves. As a person or an object moves, friction is created. As a result, heat is generated. This heat emits infrared radiation which the PIR sensor is able to detect. So in this circuit, the output is the LED and the buzzer. So I'll just connect it and I'll show you how it works. So I've connected the battery now. If there's slight movement over the dome, then the buzzer will ring and the LED will glow. If I continuously keep on moving my hand, then the alarm will keep continuously keep ringing. As soon as I stay still, the alarm will stop. This circuit can basically detect up to 3 meters distance. So now over here you can see that the PIR sensor has 3 pins. For the first pin you have to connect the positive DC voltage. The second pin is the output pin. It's mostly given as 3 volts. The third pin is the negative DC voltage. So now let me show you the circuit diagram. So this is the circuit diagram. It's very easy. It won't take more than 5 minutes for you to complete this circuit. Just make sure you connect everything properly. Whenever I move my hand, the alarm rings.
so now I guess it can have more range Even if I'm in my phone camera and detect Hope you all enjoyed my motion detector video Y'all can take a look at the circuit diagram again Thanks for watching guys.